Welcome back everyone For this particular part of the video, I'm still just playing around with shapes and uh, I start making Some components throughout the video But it doesn't get really component heavy as I'm still trying to play around with stuff right now and I'm still not very sure if I'm even gonna keep this uh, This model the way it's going now, you're going to have a lot of moments like that, like I said in the previous video, you're going to have a lot of moments like that where you're just questioning whether or not this is going to look the way you imagine it to look, or if it's going to look even remotely cool, even if it does deviate from the original idea that you had set in your head. I do use some model, uh, the engine model that I made in the very first video as a reference to this. and. That actually did help a little bit with getting the general idea of where the ship was going to go. And I just kind of played around with those two engine models and I decided to go with the whole uh, Pillar of Autumn type hexagonal look with a mixture of the Heavy Assault Frigate that I did a while back. and. That's what made this model actually very interesting to me as a destroyer because I actually had a lot of trouble making this model a destroyer class because I was like, oh, it looks too much like a, uh, a cruiser, just a really, a, a, a very small cruiser. If anything, it'd be a light cruiser. <clears throat> and the reason why I said that was because of how close it looked to both uh the Trinity and the the Zahara and you can look back at that video and you can see the the resemblance of the head type the head of the Zahara and then you come back and you look at this model and you're like oh that looks kind of similar so that's also another good way to help you push a model forward is to definitely go back to your old ones and take uh, features and ideas from that if you haven't done so already and even in the later videos that I, I was scrolling through to kind of get myself uh, situated was I saw myself actually using um, my previous models because I may lose interest or I may lose inspiration as far as okay where do I want you know certain details to be where do I want hangar doors where do I want turrets to be where do I want those awesome aesthetic like armor plates or arrows or uh, bolts and stuff of that nature so uh, that's definitely a good uh, tip for for those who are just starting out or those who are advanced modelers and just need something some tips or something of that sort to help them go along with their projects At the very end of the video, you'll see that I actually start getting myself situated for that cut in half mirror effect that a lot of modelers do when uh, creating uh, large, uh, large detailed models. And that's because I actually do go along with the the way the model's going, the, the shapes and all that. I think that I'm going to be able to pull this model out of my head and actually make it in SketchUp and it's going to look amazing. So I go ahead and do that and prepare myself by splitting it up and then in the next few videos you're going to see me start pulling out a lot of component, a lot of components out of the details that I make because like I said before you never know when you're going to have to revamp something or make something better so it's good to have those models separated from the original excuse me it's good to have those components separated from the original model so you don't have to pick and select every single line and face cut it out model it in detail and then try and stick it back on because you could screw up you could screw up and cut out and delete a specific line that just totally throws off the model you don't know which face it belonged to or where it was going and stuff of that nature it just ruins the whole model and 
ultimately it pisses you off. <laughs> I've gotten so irritated with some of my models when I accidentally cut something I didn't mean to cut and I'd have to re uh, restart either a certain feature or I'd have to just keep backspacing and backspacing and backspacing. <laughs> 